Jerry Ascalese has awakened from a deep slumber to wrench out, as it were, today's sportscast. All right. Well, I have some good news and I have some bad news in sports, ladies and gentlemen. The bad news first is it's a very slow day. It's a Tuesday. The good news, however, is that I do have the score of that John Brown of Arkansas and the School of the Ozarks game, if you were wondering. John Brown won it by the score of 74-68. to 68. More college basketball last night in the Big East. Georgetown was at home at the Capitol Center in Landover to take out the pesky Boston College Eagles. And the game was not a disappointment. The Eagles ran up a quick 15-4 lead on the Hoyas. But John Thompson's crew came back strong. Let's pick it up and see BC's Jay Murphy miss it. The rebound goes to David Wingate. Pushes it up the floor to Gene Smith. Watch the pretty move in the lane right there. Now the Hoyas take a six-point lead in the second half. Down low will be Pat Ewing with aggression. Rams at home right there. The Eagles look to come back. Jay Murphy will be found on the left side. Will pump once and put it in from long range. But back come the Hoyas. Michael Jackson will boogie up the court, if you will. He will go right wing to Bill Martin, who will ram it in right there. The Hoyas go on to win at 92 to 83. Georgetown is ranked fourth in the nation. Locally, Monmouth College captured their fourth win last night, an 80 to 77 victory over Delaware State. That was their fourth victory at home during the year. Mason McBride gathered 16 points to lead the team. Their win streak snapped a four-game losing streak. In the NHL, however, the Buffalo Sabres are red hot. They captured their 10th straight road victory yesterday as they beat the Bruins in the Boston Garden by the score of 5-3. Buffalo now trails Boston by only one point in the Adams division. Tonight in the NHL, the Islanders will be in Detroit. They take on the Red Wings. Now in pro hoops, no games yesterday, but tonight the Sixers are looking to bounce back from that thrashing that the Knicks put on them last time that they met. Tonight the Sixers will be at the Garden to take on the troubled Knicks who are only one game up on the Nets. While the Nets are in Kansas City tonight, they take on the Kansas City Kings. And one man who has made his mark this year as one of the most underrated basketball players in the NBA is Washington's Jeff Rulin. I had a chance to meet with Jeff Rulin, and here's a profile on him. He has now achieved the respectability of the NBA followers that he has certainly earned. While leading the Washington Bullets, Jeff Rulin has acquired the reputation as being a true workhorse. It describes me pretty much. You know, I go out every game, you know, play 40, 45 minutes. I give 110 percent. I don't know if people appreciate that or not, but uh, you know, I try to earn my money. And while playing consistently strong games, Rulin has established himself as one of the NBA's most physical players. So physical, in fact, that many refer to him as a downright dirty ball player. I think anybody who says that is not a knowledgeable basketball fan. Yeah, Jeff is a uh, really a clean player. You know, he just plays very, very hard. He's a very competitive guy. I'm six foot ten, two hundred seventy-five pounds, and if I didn't take advantage of my physical attributes, you know, I wouldn't be in the NBA. And now Big Jeff is taking the NBA by storm. The Iona graduate is the only NBA player who ranks in the top 10 in three statistical categories, scoring, rebounding, and shooting percentage. He's been doing a great job on the boards for us. Uh, he supplies offense for us night in and night out. He's one of the better post-up players in the league. And now Jeff Rulin is unquestionably one of the NBA's best. I had a lot of confidence in myself and my ability. I was a great high school player. I was a great college player. And I knew given the chance, you know, and the pros that I would become a great pro player. And uh, I'm going to continue to improve, God willing. Thank you very much, Jeff Rulin, one of the NBA's best. Well, get ready for another football season. The USFL opened up their training camps yesterday. And the Generals got a great sign from millionaire running back Herschel Walker. Herschel ran the 40-yard dash in 4.2 seconds, a bit fast. And baseball, no word yet on the Tom Seaver decision on whether he will retire or play for the White Sox, but I think he will pitch in Chicago. And longtime baseball veteran Don Money assigned a two-year contract to play baseball in Japan. And for the Phillies, hopefully the expression like father, like son will apply for their team because the Phillies organization has signed 19-year-old outfielder 
Roberto Clemente Jr. And finally to Al Michaels of ABC TV, congratulations for winning the Sportscaster of the Year Award voted by the National Sportscasters and Sports Writers Association. And uh, by the way, the team of Steve McGullum and myself finished second. Goes to show you politics involved in all these votings that really get you down sometimes. Tell you first, but we'll be back. For a slow day, you came out with a nice report. Thank you Thank very you much.